What's good with y'all? It's Cam bringing the video straight like that. Comment down below what you want to see in the next one. Subscribe if you're brand new and let's hop right into the video. Make sure you hit that like button. Don't be stingy with it, bro. So look, you always need to remain presentable anywhere you go. It does not matter. Always look crispy. Always have a clean fit on. You feel me? And when I say clean fit, I just mean make sure it don't got stains and nothing on it. I want to know why. Because understand this. As much as people hate to, to be judged and everyone's like, oh, don't judge people, don't judge people. People going to do it anyway. People stereotype. People judge. That's just what happens. You can't stop that. All right. It, it, like there's no, it's not going nowhere. And understand that the first thing people are going to judge is your external appearance, your face, your hair, your clothes. They're going to judge you, your shoes. Understand this, bro. Understand this. You can work on yourself being a man. You can work on your mentality and controlling your emotions and all this other stuff. And that's great. And you should do that. Work on your personality because that's very, very important. But it's just as important to make sure that you take care of yourself externally as well, bro. Especially when we when we talk about women, bro. Because women, they are going to judge you based off of how you look. How do you think hypergamy comes about, bro? You think that you think they just know what's in your bank account? You think they just automatically look at a guy and they just, oh, I, I, I just know they. Do you think they got magic eyes or something like that? No, bro. They looking at what you have on. They are looking at the guys with the Cuban links on their neck. They're looking at the guys with the with the diamonds and stuff like that. And I'm not even telling you that you have to have all this stuff on, but I'm just trying to make a point that women are looking at what you look like. Everyone is looking at what you look like and making judgments. It doesn't matter. You can have the best personality in the world, but let's just be honest. If you walk outside with a stain on your shirt, you got a coffee stain on your shirt. You know what I'm saying? You got, you know what I'm saying? It just, just, just a whole bunch of dirty clothes on, looking dingy, wrinkly, white tee. People are going to look at you in the context of, dang, this guy does not know how to take care of himself. This guy does not know how to dress. This, di this guy is not clean. This is a dirty, dirty person. And people don't like dirty people, bro. It's off-putting. It's a turn off to anybody, bro. Whether you're trying to make friends or whether you're looking for a girlfriend, bro. This is why you always have to be presentable. Now, understand this, bro. Let's go into the way you dress. The way that you dress is extremely, extremely important, bro. Because you don't have to wear the most designer stuff. You don't have to be a hype beast. You don't have to have Supreme and Babe and Chrome Hearts and, and, and Archive Fashion. You don't have to have none of that, bro. All you have to do is make sure that you are walking out the house with something that matches and something that's clean, bro. And honestly, when you look around, bro, you don't see a whole lot of, or you do see a lot of it, but it's people that's really out here that's grown men that don't know how to match colors, bro. You need to learn how to match colors, all right? And when I say match colors, I don't mean you got to wear all green or all red, all one color, bro. But if you're wearing a dark shirt, bro, let's say you're wearing like a, a, a navy blue shirt, bro. Don't go walking outside with like some, some, I don't know, some, some, some like green pants or, or something crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like learn how to co color coordinate, bro. Matching is not hard. And that's all dressing really is, bro. As long as you're matching, then you got it, dog. You know what I'm saying? And as long as your shoes are, 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 are clean and presentable, don't be walking outside with no beat up shoes, bro. Unless you're going to do, do some jogging or some running or something like that. You're about to go work out, bro. If you just out and about, man, why are you wearing beat up shoes, man? For what? Your forces is dirty. They're wrinkled. You need to go get new ones. Don't try and clean them. Don't get them cleaners from online because that's a scam. I promise you. Just go get you some new ones real quick. It's $90. I don't got $90. Get a job. You know what I'm saying? So it's not that hard to make sure that you're presentable, bro. But too many people don't do this too many men don't do this they, they they lack in this department and the reason why is because of laziness really because a lot of guys they want to dress bummy understand this there's nothing wrong with dressing bummy but even when you dress bummy there's a way to do it bro there's a way to rock sweatpants and a hoodie bro do you understand that bro don't don't be wearing a hoodie and sweatpants that don't go together that don't match Put a little bit of effort into what you want to present yourself as. Because when you leave that house, people are going to judge you, dog. I promise you this. Now, the immediate rebuttal to this is, oh, well, you know, look at the richest men in the world. They always dress in bummy. I got three things for you, my boy. First, they already got mad guap. They, they don't need to, they don't care who's judging them. They already got a whole lot of money. They're already successful in their own right. Right. Obviously, that doesn't mean that they have everything. That doesn't even mean that they're happy. But what I'm saying is they already got a whole lot of money. They don't really need to impress anybody because they're already the boss. Number one. Number two, a lot of the richest men in the world are already well known for that. If you see Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos walking on the street wearing a, wearing some Crocs, some gray sweats and a dingy T-shirt, you're not going to trip because guess what? 
you already know who they are and you already know what they're about and what they stand for. You already know that they're businessmen and that they're punctual and stuff like that. If you do that, though, you are not Jeff Bezos. You are not Bill Gates, bro. You will not get away with having stains all over your shirts. You will not get away with having all this, you know what I'm saying, with, 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 with wrinkly shirts and wrinkly sweatpants and all this other stuff, bro. But so socks don't even match. I bet you're wearing socks that don't match right now. You know what I'm saying? One taller than the other. Probably not even the same color, bro. You probably got a black sock on and a white sock. You know what I'm saying? You got to take care of these things, man, especially when it comes to women, because this goes a long way. The way that you dress actually goes a long way. You know what I'm saying? Whether you dressing bummy or whether you dressing up a little bit, you going out somewhere, school, work, uh, a party. I don't know. I don't care where. When you dress nicely, understand that that has an effect, bro. That has an effect. And understand this, too. You got to realize that as you get older, too, the way that you dress should change. When you are 27 years old, you shouldn't be dressing like you 13, bro. You shouldn't be dressing like you're 13. In other words, you shouldn't be wearing no long blue jeans with, with blue boot cut jeans with sneakers like the, the Skechers and a Hurley t-shirt, bro. You shouldn't be rocking that at age 27, bro. You got to grow up a bit. I'm not telling you to wear a suit everywhere you go, but dang, man, invest in something, a, a nice polo or something, or like just a nice, little, you know what I'm saying, a casual shirt, a business casual shirt or something like that, bro. Go get you something that you can wear. Even if you want to wear graphic tees, a little bit more dressed down, whatever, go get you something that look nice. Don't go just getting just, just, just whatever. And it don't gotta be expensive. It can be cheap. You know what I'm saying? Get you some plain shirts, bro. Just get you some plain fitted shirts. You know what I'm saying? Don't be walking around with shirts that, you know what I'm saying? Loose around the arms and stuff like that. Unless you're going for the oversized look, bro. But I'm telling you right now, if you want to impress women or not even, it's not even really about impressing women, but I'm just telling you, if you wear shirts that are more fitted to you, bro, you're going to look more muscular. I'm just being honest with you. You can go with the oversized look, but if you go with the oversized look, I'm just telling you, you're going to be at a disadvantage to the dudes that's wearing fitted tees, bro. You know what I'm saying? But that's up to you. I even like doing oversized sometimes, but that's only sometimes. But um, yeah, I'm just being honest with you, bro. Go get you some fitted white tees, some fitted black tees. It isn't that difficult to look presentable in terms of the way that you dress, bro. Understand that. Now, moving on. The next best thing that you can do in order to up your looks, bro, is... Make sure that you take care of your hygiene and especially your face. Understand this, before your before your, your clothes even, before your hair, people are going to look at your face first, bro. This area right here, bro, your face. So it is important to take care of your facial hygiene, bro. And I didn't understand this for a very long time. And a lot of men don't get it, bro. Wash your face with more than just water. Water is not getting the job done. It's not getting the job done. I promise you, you need to do more than just water splashing water on your face bro invest in some facial soap of any kind i'm not here to promote a certain type or whatever the case may be but get you some facial wash a facial scrub whatever you need bro like me personally i got oily skin bro you know what i'm saying so I, or, or not oily skin i got dry skin so i need to after i wash put on some moisturizer i got my moisturizer right here you know what i'm saying I'm investing in things so that my face can look good and my face can look clear. So that way, when people see me, they're not looking at me like, uh, he dirty. Uh, uh, he, you know what I'm saying? He got crusties all over, all over his face. No one want to walk around with crusties all over their face, bro. And this seems so, so simple. It seems like common sense, but it's crazy because a lot of dudes don't actually do this, bro. Take care of how your face looks, man. You don't want to go into a job interview and you got crusties all in the corner of your mouth and stuff like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? No, nobody want to leave looking crusty. Another, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you... You know what I'm saying? You probably got scragglies all on your on your chin. You probably ain't even got a full beard, bro. You just got the little the little mustache, chin hair combo like I do, bro. Get rid of the little, you know what I'm saying? Cut all that off. You know what I'm saying? It's little loose hairs and stuff like that. Get rid of those, man. Get rid of those. And make sure you're getting haircuts too, bro. Understand this. I'm not going to sit here and tell you to get a haircut every week, but understand that when you have a nice, clean haircut, your looks increase a whole lot, bro. No one wants to look at some musty, crusty, dusty, uncut dude, bro. No woman wants to look at that. No woman want to be with a dude who got a crooked lineup either. You know what I'm saying? Make sure your barber is straight. Make sure your barber is right, bro. All in all, bro, you want to make sure that you are looking great be at all times you always want to look presentable because the more presentable you look the more respect you're actually going to get from people now understand that people's respect is very how do i put this it's not super duper important to just gain a whole lot of people's respect bro understand that it's more important to get god's respect but ultimately no one wants to walk around you know what I mean? Being perceived as some dirty person. You know what I'm saying? So walk around and look presentable. And the more presentable you look, again, the more respect you're going to get. The nicer people are. People are going to be nicer to you. You might get more opportunities. Understand this, bro. 
Check this out real quick. I've seen something the other day where it was like a dude went in for a job interview and he was completely inexperienced. Or yeah, it was a guy who was nervous for a job interview and he's talking to this other guy who was conventionally attractive and he was asking him about stuff. And the guy that was conventionally attractive had no job experience. He went into the interview and came out with a job. You wanna know why? Because of how he looked. Looks can take you a long way, but there's a caveat to that. Your looks, the way you dress and your face and stuff like that, bro, they also have to pair with who you are inside. And don't forget the body as well. Make sure that you go into the gym. But I just wanted to mention the two most important things, right? The two things that people are going to look at first, which is your dress and your face. But understand that it has to match the inside as well. If you out here dressing nicely and you look presentable, you got a nice face, but you're not a confident person to back it up, bro. Understand that it's basically all for nothing because it'll get you in the door. Yeah. But as soon as you open your mouth, Dang, this dude is dumb. Dang, this dude don't got a single thought behind this. Dang, this dude is mad shy, mad nervous. This dude stuttering. And there's nothing wrong with stuttering, but nine times out of ten, stuttering become, uh, comes because you an a anxious person. You know what I mean? That's what it happens. Or unless you're just talking a whole lot like I am right now. I'm, I'm stuttering, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't got no script. I'm doing this off the dome. I do all my videos off the dome, you feel me? So I'm really just freestyling right now. I ain't got no script in front of me. So I'm stuttering because I'm just thinking. But other than that, people are stuttering because they're nervous. So as soon as you open your mouth, now all of a sudden people are turned off. Oh, man. It's like a it's like a, a, a thousand. It's like, bro, you look real good. You know what I'm saying? You looking presentable, but couldn't finish. Couldn't finish. It's like going up for a dunk and missing, bro. Like John Morant, he always be missing them dunks, bro. You don't want to be that guy. You don't want to be the guy that's known for having the looks and nothing else, bro. You got to have something to back it up, especially if you're a man, bro. You got to be confident. You got to be masculine. And this is just in all cases. This isn't even just to attract women. This is to attract women. This is for a job interview. This is for just being out and about, bro. This is for greeting new teachers and new coworkers and stuff like that. You always want to be presentable inside and out, bro. If you ain't got it inside, then you don't got it nowhere, bro. I promise you. There's a whole bunch of dudes out here right now wearing designer clothing right now. You, you you, you see it all the time. Dudes wearing the latest shoes, the latest X, Y, Z, the latest, the latest, yada, 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 bro. But guess what? You start talking to them and they they, they, they can't even finish a sentence. They uh, mumbling. They can't talk. You know what I'm saying? They shy, un unconfident. You see them in the party, at the corner of the party. They standing like this the whole time. The reason their hands is in front of them like this is not because they trying to look cool. Uh, you're not an opium. You're not Ken Carson. You're not Destroy Lonely, bro. Promise you right now, they're standing over here in the corner, in the dark corner, you know what I'm saying? Just standing like these is not going to get you no women, bro. The only reason you're doing that is because you're afraid to approach people and you don't really have it in here. You feel me? Meanwhile, the guy that's just dressing nicely, he's just matching, you know what I'm saying? He just has basic facial hygiene. He ain't got bumps and acne all over his face like you do. Then he he out there going crazy, you know what I'm saying? He getting all the choosing signals, but he ain't even acting on the choosing signal because he already know that it's not even worth his time to mess with these females, bro. But anyway, long story short, always stay crispy because people will respect you more when you do look clean and when you do look better you know what i'm saying and side note let me just tell you something bro if you have dreads i'm not gonna tell you to cut the dreads bro but what i am saying is that women prefer a clean cut but you ain't hear that from me though. i mean i'm just saying i'm just saying don't let tiktok fool you i promise you women prefer a clean cut I, I, I you think i'm lying i've been on both sides bro i've been on both sides i've been you before anyway that's all i got for y'all love y'all i'm out of here peace